When you think open source OS, you probably think Linux, but the open source world is much bigger than just one kernel. There's a universe of projects, each with its own philosophy and story. Today we're diving into nine open source operating systems that aren't Linux. This isn't about finding a Linux killer, it's about celebrating the variety and ingenuity in the OS space. We'll look at systems built for security, for running on any hardware, and even some that revive classic computers with a modern twist. Whether you're a developer, hobbyist, or just curious, you might find your next weekend project here. Let's get started. First up, FreeBSD, a true heavyweight in the open source world. FreeBSD is a complete, integrated operating system, not just a kernel. Its stability and reliability make it a backbone of the internet. Netflix, for example, relies on it for content delivery. It's optimized for performance and high load applications, and even powers the PlayStation 4 and 5. The BSD license and clean architecture make it flexible for all kinds of uses. Desktop support is decent, but its real strength is in servers and networking. You might need to tinker with drivers, but for anyone serious about system architecture, FreeBSD is a must-know. It's the quiet professional, no hype, just results. If you want to understand Unix-like systems at their best, start here. FreeBSD is a classic for a reason. Next, OpenBSD, the security-obsessed sibling of FreeBSD, its guiding principle, security above all else. OpenBSD is secure by default with minimal services running out of the box. The team performs relentless code audits, hunting for vulnerabilities before they become problems. Their track record? Only two remote holes in the default install ever. OpenBSD gave us OpenSSH, now a global standard for secure connections. It's not flashy but it's the OS you trust for firewalls, VPNs and critical infrastructure. Desktop use is possible but its real home is where security is non-negotiable. OpenBSD proves what a focused, dedicated team can achieve. They're the unsung heroes making the internet safer. If you value security, OpenBSD is unmatched. Meet NetBSD, the king of portability. Their motto, of course it runs NetBSD, and they mean it. NetBSD supports an incredible range of hardware from modern servers to vintage consoles and even toasters. Its design separates machine-dependent and machine-independent code, making it easy to port. NetBSD is a favorite for embedded systems and custom hardware projects, even NASA has used it in space. On a standard PC, it's solid but shines brightest for tinkerers and hardware enthusiasts. The desktop experience is hands-on, but the spirit is about pushing boundaries and preserving computing history. In a world focused on just a few architectures, NetBSD stands for true software universality. It's a celebration of hardware diversity. If you love experimenting, NetBSD is your playground. It's the ultimate OS for those who want to run an OS anywhere. Try it if you want to see just how far an OS can go. Switching gears, let's talk Haiku, a modern homage to the legendary BIOS. BIOS was built for digital media and multitasking but faded away in the shadow of Windows. Haiku revives that vision built from scratch for speed, clarity, and personal computing. The interface is clean, fast, and consistent, everything feels snappy. Haiku's multi-threading and BFS file system make it great for multitasking and quick file searches. It's still in beta, and app support is limited, but it runs native apps and some BOS software. You won't run Photoshop, but you'll experience a unique, elegant desktop. Haiku is a glimpse at an alternate path for personal computing. It's for those who value speed, simplicity, and a break from mainstream OS design. If you miss BOS or want something different, Haiku is a breath of fresh air. It's a love letter to a lost era, reimagined for today. Give it a try for a truly different desktop experience. Next, ReactOS, an open-source OS aiming for full Windows compatibility. The goal run Windows software and drivers natively, no emulation. It's a massive challenge, reverse engineering Windows NT from scratch. ReactOS is still alpha, but can run many classic Windows XP-era apps and drivers. The interface feels like Windows 2000 or XP, intentionally familiar. It's not ready to replace your main Windows machine, but it's a fascinating proof of concept. For preserving old software and hardware, ReactOS could be a game-changer. Progress is slow, but the dedication is impressive. It's a testament to open-source ambition. If you're curious about Windows alternatives, keep an eye on ReactOS. Now Illumos, the open-source continuation of Sun's legendary Solaris. 
Born from Open Solaris after Oracle closed the source, Illumos carries on the Solaris legacy. It's a complete OS, famous for features like ZFS, the gold standard in file systems, D-Trace, real-time system tracing, and Zones, lightweight virtualization. These innovations have shaped the industry. ZFS and D-Trace are now used far beyond Illumos. Illumos powers enterprise storage, cloud infrastructure, and mission-critical apps. Distributions like Open Indiana and SmartOS bring Illumos to desktops and the cloud. It's a system for professionals, but its technology has influenced everyone. If you want to see where many modern OS features started, Illumos is the place. It's a living piece of computing history. For stability, data integrity, and advanced features, Illumos stands tall. Explore it if you want to experience Enterprise Unix at its finest. Let's talk Minix, the teaching OS that changed the world. Created by Andrew Tannenbaum, Minix was designed for students to read and understand every line of code. Its microkernel architecture runs only the essentials in kernel mode. Everything else is isolated, making it modular and resilient. If a driver crashes, the system keeps running. Reliability by design. Minix inspired the famous debate with Linus Torvalds and ultimately, the creation of Linux. Its ideas live on in systems like QNX and even in Apple's MacOS and iOS. Fun fact, a version of Minix runs inside Intel chipsets on millions of computers. You probably won't use Minix as your daily OS, but its influence is everywhere. It's the quiet professor of the OS world, teaching, inspiring, and shaping the future. If you want to learn OS design, Minix is essential reading. Its legacy is bigger than its user base. Time for a nostalgia trip, Eros, the open source Amiga OS reimagining. Eros recreates the Amiga OS 3.1 experience but runs on modern hardware. PCs, old Macs, even Raspberry Pi. It's a from-scratch project, source-compatible with classic Amiga software. The interface is pure retro-futurism, fast, lightweight, and instantly recognizable to Amiga fans. Application support is limited but it's perfect for reliving the Amiga's unique multitasking desktop. Eros is a passion project, built by and for enthusiasts who love the Amiga spirit. It's not for modern web browsing or office work but for preserving computing history. Booting up Eros is a trip down memory lane and a celebration of timeless user experience. If you want to see what made the Amiga special, Eros is your ticket. It's a love letter to a classic, kept alive by community passion. Try it for a taste of computing's golden age. Finally, Serenity OS, a modern OS with a 90s desktop vibe built entirely from scratch. Started by Andreas Kling as a personal project, it's now a thriving community effort. Serenity OS is all about transparency, clear code, and a cohesive user experience. Everything, from the kernel to the web browser, is built in the open, with no legacy baggage. The Ladybird browser is a standout, built from scratch and impressively modern. Serenity OS isn't meant to replace your main OS, it's a playground for learning and creativity. It's a celebration of the joy of computing, free from corporate complexity. Developers can understand and improve every part of the system. Watching Serenity OS grow is inspiring, a reminder of what passion can build. It's nostalgia and innovation, perfectly blended. If you love tinkering or want to see a fresh take on the desktop, Serenity OS is a must-see. There you have it. Nine open source operating systems that prove the world is bigger than Linux. From the stability of BSDs to the passion of Haiku and Serenity OS, each offers a unique vision. Have you tried any of these, or do you have a favorite we missed? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this deep dive, hit like and subscribe for more tech content. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Keep exploring, there's a whole world beyond the usual OS choices.